I know times have been tough. We have all had to deal with unprecedented challenges. And I will be straight with you. We have mountains to overcome still. But today we have made three huge decisions to change the direction of our country. We will give Britain the infrastructure it needs, protect the long-term future of our NHS and cut cancer deaths by a quarter, and create the best education system in the Western world to set up our children for the opportunities of the future. If we commit, if we come together, we can achieve truly great things. We can build a country where work is truly valued, where welfare is a safety net and not a way of life, where small businesses drive our economy, where innovation makes life better, where our NHS is properly funded and properly reformed, where our children are the best educated in the Western world, whether that's at university or, yes, through an apprenticeship, where the scourge of antisocial behaviour is treated as the crime it is and not some social condition, where for the most violent offenders life means life, where the people and their government decides who comes here and who can't, where the next generation can achieve the dream of owning their own home, where the elderly grow old with dignity and where the young grow up with opportunity, where decency and mutual respect bind communities together, where the very idea of Britain is a symbol of hope and stability across the world and where our United Kingdom remains united. It's ours if we want it, but we have to fight for it. At the next election, the choice the people face is bigger than party politics. Do we want a government committed to making long-term decisions, prepared to be radical in the face of challenges and to take on vested interests, or do we want to stand still and quietly accept more of the same? You either think this country needs to change or you don't. And if you do, you should stand with me and every person in this hall. You should stand with the Conservatives.